what is up you guys welcome back to my youtube channel we are back again with an ug unboxing we're gonna have like an ug week here on my youtube channel because i cannot be stopped i just posted a try on review of the ug fuzz sugar slide so definitely check that out after this video if you are looking to add some new uggs into your shoe collection this season these i don't even know what they are i have two orders today that we're going to be unboxing so it's going to be a surprise when we bust open the package and i cannot wait because i feel like okay i feel like i didn't have any shoes to wear which is why i've been shopping for shoes specifically some fun everyday styles but comfortable ones as well that i could wear all year round but especially in the winter season with all the fuzzy furs and all that good stuff so today we are going to unbox this package from ugg not sponsored by the way i'm gonna do a shoe try on so you guys can see what the shoe looks like in a video versus just flat photos on the UGG website and I will also let you guys know most importantly about the fit and the sizing which I always find to be super helpful when watching and looking up these videos so definitely subscribe if you guys are interested in knowing about this specific pair of UGGs and check out the links below I will put links where you can get these in the description they may be sold out so I will try to look online at all the places where you guys can get yourselves a pair so let's bust this open and i'm not gonna hold you guys here too long because it's just a shoe unboxing review so yeah i feel like these are the tasmans and i'm so obsessed they are okay yes this UGG right here is a viral. It is such an UGG sensation. It is flying off the shelves. I happen to get mine in the newest colorway, which is Driftwood. And I don't know about you girls, but I started out in high school with the chestnuts. And I feel like I need to get shoes from UGG that are not chestnut because I've had chestnut UGGs my entire life. So when I saw that they came out with a lighter colorway, I said throw it in the bag we need to get this so I ended up going with my true UGG size which is a US women's nine and I don't know how these are gonna fit but we're gonna see in a second so we have our UGG warranty card and these little guys are oh my god why are these so cute when I first saw these in the initial chestnut colorway it was giving me like a moccasin type of vibe because of this sort of stitch work they all vary in different colors but i really like how neutral this is with the cream and then the tan this is the driftwood color we have the traditional ugg sole and this has the sheepskin lining in the interior so the thing about these is I was not sure how this was going to fit because it's not like a slip on sandal. It's like a lip. It almost looks like the ultra mini Uggs, but cut in half. So you kind of have like your ankle covered, but is it going to cover the entire ankle type of situation? So I'll let you guys know once we try this on if I think this is true to size and especially for all the girlies. Or the guys that are half size would I recommend sizing up or sizing down because I feel like if it's too small it might be digging all up on your ankle and if it's too big you're gonna be slipping in and out of this so that's super cute let me know if you guys have a pair of the Tasmans I know that sorry I posted these on my Instagram story when they launched and they sold out within like 10 minutes you guys copped them and they also have these available in black i think there's like a pink color so many different colorways and different variations of this shoe so if you like the silhouette you like the simple slipper style then this might be a great shoe for you so it features the tasman braid across the brim of the shoe we have the suede upper material the sheepskin lining the heat embossed UGG logo on the side. And as far as the sole, we have the Tread Light by UGG outsole for the comfort, which I love. It's very like 
walking on a cloud we love the uggs okay if you know you know as far as availability this is available in the driftwood color which i have here as well as the classic chestnut a navel blue and then black which i think is so cute if you wear a lot of black so i mean they're always coming out with new colorways i feel like if you see one that you like you probably gotta go snatch it <laughs> these are like outside shoes like these they look like indoor slippers but they are also meant to be worn outside so i would recommend treating this with like the water safe spray so that you can have the best wear with your uggs i have not picked that up yet and i just reminded myself i need to get some of that and you definitely don't want to ruin the material and have watermarks but look how cozy like i feel like i picked the perfect color in the driftwood so i'm going to compare it to the chestnut so you guys can see a little bit of a color difference so this is the funkette in chestnut and the tasman in driftwood so you can see it's a little bit lighter and more like a tan less brown Ugh, i think they're both super cute so if you have a lot of chestnuts highly recommend getting the driftwood color in any of the ugg silhouettes let's go try these bad boys on and i will show you guys what they look like and then we'll touch on the fit and the sizing <laughs> Why is trying on some shoes and being a foot model <laughs> exhausting? So I have some final thoughts to say about these, just first impressions. Um, I did try these on with socks. I probably would wear this silhouette without socks. There is a sheep skin, so it's very toasty on the foot. So that's nice, and you'll be able to imprint your foot shape in the shoe flawlessly, which is always nice. I didn't think these would feel the way that they did and I've never had an ugg like this so let me know how you guys feel about the Tasmans. This lip doesn't stay like on my foot like my foot comes up out of it when I take steps is that normal? I was not expecting that I just thought it was going to be like a shoe on my foot and wasn't going to be slipping in and out so it wasn't as uncomfortable as it sounds i still think it's a really comfortable shoe in my opinion it's like wearing a house slipper outside that's pretty much about it for my first impressions and try on review on the ugg tasman shoes let me know what you guys think do you think they're cute or are they ugly let us know in the comments below and don't forget to check these out in the description box if you want to get your hands on them i forgot to mention i believe these retail for only a hundred dollars yeah which i don't think is a lot for a nice pair of uggs and let me tell you about ugg they will last you years okay i have uggs i've had five six plus years so a hundred dollars is nothing so go get you a pair of these. I think they're going to go with a ton of fits and you definitely won't regret that.